Hello guys, in this video we will talk about localization and internationalization. Now what exactly it means is, let's say I want to create a software and that software depends upon the country or let's say I am using that software in India, we have lots of languages, right? We have Hindi, Marathi, we have uh, Gujarati. But if you use that so uh, software in let's say US, you will be using English. If you're using that that software in China, you'll be using Chinese, right? So depend upon different different countries, we have different different languages, and since we have different different languages, the caption or the text that that should be shown on your software should be different. So if I choose Hindi, so all the text which is in English should convert into Hindi. If you choose, uh, let's say, the Chinese, so all the text which is in English should be converted into Chinese language. Now to achieve that, what we can do is we can use a concept of internationalization, which simply means there's a concept of L10N. Now this L10N means is it, is, it stands for localization because uh, between L and N we have 10 characters. So you can see if you can count from O to O, it is 10 characters. Then we have a concept of it is I18N. Now I18 stands for it is internationalization. So you can count from N, I, N, N, we have 18 characters. So that's your localization and internationalization. In order to use that, yeah, in order to use this concept, you have to use two classes. First, we need a locale class, and second, we have to use resource bundle. So we need to use two classes, one is local and second, and second is resource bundle. And both these classes belongs to a package called as java.util package. So you'll be using this package and these classes in the tutorial to work with localization. So our aim will be, uh, I, need to I will be uh, printing a, a wish, that, let, uh, let example I have a friend, uh, so today is uh, his, today it's his birthday. So I need, to, I need to wish him happy birthday. So uh, let's say he's, if he's Indian and he knows Hindi or he knows English, I will wish him in English language. But let's say he's from China. So I need to wish him in Chinese language. So I don't know what is Chinese language. So I, what I will do, I will go to Google Translator. I will say happy birthday. And the, and the language I will be using is, we'll go for Chinese. So this is the text I, I have to, I, I need to waste this. I don't know, it's a sangri, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's say I want to wish him in Marathi. So I have to go to Marathi, it's an Indian language. So, so it's Vat Divsacha Subhecha. And if I want to print him Hindi, I can see here, it's Hindi, so it, it's Janmadin Mubarak. Right, so uh, we, we can choose multiple languages. We can also print in Arabic, but I can't read uh, uh, Arabic, so no choice. But we have lots of languages, right? So you can choose any of this language, and then uh, you can print that message in different different languages, depend upon the input or depend upon the language you specify here. Now, exactly how to uh, do it, that we'll see in the next part of the video.